Okay, so in this video we're gonna work on the um, shrubs and then we're gonna uh, do that using the Maya paint effects and the content browser. So let's start working on that. So let's go to Windows, let's go General Editors and then let's go into Content Browser. So this Content Browser basically have um, you know models and uh, creation done by Autodesk and so we can use and then customize for our own it's kind of like a library inside Maya. So let's go to in the example sections, enter paint effects, and then let's scroll down to plants. So this is part of the library they have, and then there's also plant meshes. That's another part of the library. So let's, while selecting plant meshes, let's select in here the bushes. And then while we're hooping here, you can see there's a red uh, dot, that's for the brush. If you hold B, and then left uh, mouse click and drag, you can uh, adjust the scale. So let's pick something like this size and then let's just create one stroke. Then let's close. So now we created uh, one plant. So now I as you can see, the plant doesn't look realistic at all. And uh, this is okay. We're gonna change the settings, but this is have a good base uh, of a plant. Like we have a nice uh, thicker, uh, sections here in the like below for the main trunk and then the branches start to get thin as it goes uh, away and that's a good uh, thing to have so now we need to go to the settings and then start working onto uh, these settings to make it uh, look nice so let's go here under the bushes uh, number one and then first thing here uh, we we have the brush type and we can keep it mesh and then the global scale uh, that's basically the size. So we can uh, change down the size. Now it's really big. So let's change it to something like that. The, around the 50. Now these numbers I'm doing here, you don't have to do like exactly the same. This is just basically we visualizing and creating something that looks, uh, you know, as close to realistic as possible. So you can always experiment with these numbers to see which one like works best and which one do the, the look that you're looking for. And by the way, we're not going to be going through all the settings here because there's like a lot of settings. We're just going to go through the ones that's going to make the biggest difference and do the look. So let's uh, keep going. Channels, we don't need to change anything in here. And then brush profile. This is just adjusting that the brush itself. We don't need to change it. And then twist. We don't need to adjust any twisting on it. So far, it's all good. And this is, we don't need to change anything in the uh, multi strike on the lines here. And then under mesh here we can uh, do some changes for example uh, we can reduce the number of uh, tube sections now it's six let's go like something around five it just like reduces uh, the number of um, if we go to six you can see here we want to try to make it low poly so something around five will reduce the number of polygons so make it lighter for us to scatter later on Everything here we can uh, keep the same. We don't need to change under mesh. Shading, we're not gonna touch it because we're gonna create uh, textures. We're gonna be basically using here under texturing, we're gonna be using this uh, bark um, images that they're gonna be provided. So we're gonna use that. Illumination is related to lighting and uh, things like that. We don't really need to worry too much about the lighting and then the specularity shading. And shadow effects is the same thing. We don't need to worry about that. Glow. Also, this settings we're not gonna change. This is all related to texturing and lighting, and that's we're not gonna change. But here under the tubes, there we're gonna have some uh, changes. Mainly everything here because that's related to the creation and the look of this uh, bush. So let's click on creation here, and then there's the settings here. We're gonna be changing some of them. So first, uh, tubes per step, that's gonna influence how much of these branches show up. As, as you can see now, this is too much. So let's lower it down. Something like 0 0.64. And then the next thing we can do in the creation as well, we can adjust the uh, length. So this length min, we can uh, enhance it more to make it longer, something like 0.4. So you can see already like enhanced the look and start to get more denser. Okay, and uh, you can always adjust these settings hand in hand. For example, we adjusted the length min, you can reduce or increase the tubes per step. Okay, next thing, uh, let's adjust this tube width too. 
this is responsible for the ending of the tubes we can make it a bit thinner and uh, if you want to increase the thickness of the other tubes here you can do that but let's keep it as it is we want to use the, the minimum settings here while achieving the biggest uh, effect into our uh, scene okay so we're done basically with this creation tab let's close it the growth tab this is also important one we're gonna keep checking all these leaves because that's uh, basically if you uncheck will show you like uh, what's affecting uh, that you can add flowers as well but we don't want to do that we're just gonna keep it uh, simple and then the one you ticked here you need to adjust the settings here so let's go to the branches and then the number of branches here is like set to two so we can increase it to three and you can see as well this increase the density of our uh, mesh we can always tweak that if it's too dense and then the branch drop out here uh, this is something we can uh, also change and adjust so let's keep increasing it slowly so just randomize uh, this branching now so before if when it was zero you can see it's like a perfect circle and we want to drop out some of these branches so make it more like a randomized so let's keep like something around 250 that should do as you can see if I deselect it's, it's more like random okay you can always adjust these settings like other settings if you you, you can experiment and see but for us this is just gonna do the job for now and then next thing we can go to the twigs and then let's start uh, changing just like few like one settings basically here it's just related to the length and then this we can increase this length so this way we can uh, make it longer so something around uh, 0 0.811 is good so make the you know uh, the shrub more like bigger because before as you can see it was really small and we don't want to scale it we want the actual t twigs and the branches to be bigger so we can just increase this size something like this that looks pretty good you can see start to get more natural okay so we're done here with the twigs and then uh, let's go to the leaves and then the leaves the main thing we just want to adjust is just the number of leaves here so now it's set to three so when we increase that you can see it gets like really dense so we want to like try to balance something that uh, looks nice so let's go back to three and then if we change it to four so let's have more leaves that's gonna looks nice we can maybe keep it around four that's pretty good leaves in cluster does also like enhance the number of leaves we don't want to change that too much and then leaf dropouts do like the same thing as what we did with the branches so you can see there's like similar settings apply to everything so now everything is good here we don't need to change any more uh, into the growth the next thing is we're gonna click onto the behavior and then if you click on forces here and that's uh, some settings we need to change we want to make sure uh, the gravity is actually affecting this uh, shrub so as you can see now everything is like um, sticking out uh, like um, you know there is no like some kind of effect of gravity pulling the branches uh, back down so that's where we can adjust that in the gravity and the path follow section so let's start changing this settings in a little bit you know we just want to be careful not to go too much 0.74 that's pretty good for now and then let's start playing with this here the path attract and you can see how it start now the gravity is start like pulling pulling it uh, down so I want to make sure not to go too much but it's like we want to make sure yeah I see this shrub is like nicely and make it more much more natural when we have it like uh, pulling down like this so let's see if we go 0.5 how it looks so this looks pretty good uh, maybe a little bit intense so we could maybe uh, let's maybe go 0 0.4 0 0.4 is good it's kind of nice uh, so it have the you know the branches going down but it's not too much mm, let's see maybe we could tone it down actually just a little bit maybe 350 okay that's good too so now as you can see how natural this uh, shrub starts to look so i just want to make sure we save before we lose any of these files 
so under the assets uh, let's create uh, here we could create a folder call this uh, shrub and then inside the folder let's make sure we name it same thing shrub okay so now we have it here uh, ready and then let's go back to the settings so here we don't need to change really anything like i like how it looks it looks really natural and random i don't need to uh, do too much over you know over changes and then just become uh, not that good so let's go back up and then let's go to the stroke there's here one thing i can show you guys uh, you can adjust the seed so after you adjust the settings here you can go back and then change the seed if you want to duplicate them so if you want to have like a multiple of these you don't need to create you just create one like we just created here and then create then as many seeds as you want and then duplicate them and then you have like all these bushes that looks totally different but they are like from one source this is one just tip you guys uh, can use when you're creating this kind of stuff so you create one and then you adjust the seeds uh, under the stroke shape and then you can have a lot of variation of this uh, shrubs without much effort but i like it uh, as it is like at zero it's fine you can keep it and i like how everything is like a nice balance and there is uh, you know different length in the in the uh, leaves and also like um, of course there's different length and size in the leaves but also the branches themselves there's different length and uh, looks pretty good so this is what uh, we're gonna end the tutorial here in this video uh, that related to the shrub creation and then in the next uh, video we're gonna create the texturing and also convert it to polygons so we can uh, be able to use it in um, for arnold and then for scattering so see you in the next video